code paste should be from that responder. So we're going to call lgbr dot change because that's the response we're going to be looking for equals function and then we're going to call the function is going to be the lgbc for the change function so I'm going to add a couple lines and then we're just going to set up the change function really quick. Okay. Now go back back up here and we want to add an event listener really quick. So entries underscore LST dot add event listener. And we're going to do that to a change is when the event's going to be fired off. And what it's going to be listening for is that what it's going to fire off is the responder. So we need to call the responder, which is the LGBR. What that will end up doing is calling this function down here. So in this function, we want to set a variable first to find out the index of where we selected in that list box. So we're going to make this var LGBI. It's a number. It's going to be equal to entries underscore LST dot selected index. Now that we know that selected index, and we can call it repetitively now is the reason we've done that. We can call to our name underscore text dot text and make that equal to that entry. So that's entries underscore LST dot get item at. We're going to use whatever that selected index is as where we're going to get it at. So that's LGBI. And then which one do we want? Well, for the name, we want to get the uh, name 1. And the reason I knew that it was name 1 is because up above, that's how, what we called it. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here once more and change that to comment and the text field to comment. And save this, and publish it, and just test it once more now. All we need to do is grab just the admin file. Refresh the page quick, and it looks to be working, yep. Yeah. So now it's working. Okay. So now we can go back to the file. And the next thing we want to add in here is our update and delete functions. So for the update function, the first thing we want to do is go back up here. We'll just call this UGB. I'm going to give us a bunch of space here quick. I'll paste that function in now. So for the update function, it wants to know some more information. So we'll just start filling this out really quick. It's the GB. We're going to update it with uh, the ID is not going to change, so we're not going to update it with that. We're going to update it with just the name and the message. We're going to update it with name underscore txt dot text and message. Oops. Comment underscore txt dot text. And 
and then now we're going to actually use a where clause. We're going to update it where the ID is equal to, or you can leave it blank, it defaults to equal to this variable that we need to set still, which is the ID variable. So we need to call a, set a variable on the root level as well as one in here. So this one we're just going to call it LIS list item selected equals so it'll just always be set to whatever the last one is and ID so I'm going to change that to ID2 or ID12 so that it works and then I just need to make this variable set it up at the top here So now it's holding that, that index. So if we go back to our update statement, we can call that LIS as what it's equal to. On the response, we wanted to do the same thing that we wanted the, uh, the front end to do on, a, on an addition. So we just wanted to clear everything. So it has a couple things to clear here really quick, right? So the first one is your name underscore txt dot text should be equal to blank now. The message, I'm sorry, comment underscore txt dot text should be blank. The var should get blanked out when you finish this. 